Welcome back guys to another video. Several big things about NEO. You got the EC6 selling pretty well. A lot of great sales, the ES8, but now they announced the ET7. With all these really incredible cars, it will make it a car company. But because NEO just announced some of the coolest things on NEO Day that revolves around the world of subscriptions, I think the company is having a very unique direction. It's very different from the traditional car company where you buy a vehicle and that's it. NEO, on the other hand, you buy a vehicle, well, you better be joining some of the juicy subscription programs because it's gonna be really worth it and really fun. Now, the NEO stock is doing pretty well. In the past month, it's up almost 30%. The past week, it's up 15. And on Friday, it's up almost 9%. Now, I feel like Monday, NEO stock may be having another surge up because I was really blown away by the presentations the sensors, the LiDARs, and much, much more, especially the brand new sedan. Remember, NEO is a pretty big wild card, so hopefully investors do not sell the news and sell off the shares. I really hope that people buy more shares because it's a really good company and they announce things that exceeded my expectations and possibly even Wall Street's expectations. NEO announcing this first sedan is a really, really big hit. It's gonna start prices at $69,000, so it's not really cheap. But a lot of people in China seem to really like the ET7 and the initial thoughts and also feelings of the car is pretty good. But we're not here to talk about the cars. We're here to talk about NEO's subscription program because they're expanding it more than ever before. What I like about NEO's subscription program is because after you buy the vehicle, the consumer is really locked in into the NEO ecosystem. NEO's ecosystem is really great and this is what they're trying to create. It's very similar to Apple. When you buy a NEO vehicle, you will get used to the battery swapping stations. And you also will be get used to the amount of attention and the amount of customer service you get from the NEO representatives and also repair teams, which is also pretty great. On top of that, you're paying a monthly subscription. So you really do feel that NEO kind of feeling to your car. Now the subscription service is very unique. You could rent the 70 kilowatt hour battery pack for 980 RMB per month, which is roughly like $120 per month, or you could rent the 100 kilowatt hour battery. It's gonna cost you roughly $230 USD. That's around the conversion of like 6.5 and seven. And why would you ever pay a subscription? Well, that lowers the cost of you entering the Neo world. If you want to buy the car without the battery subscription, you're gonna be paying a massive premium. For example, their crossover, the EC6, it's gonna cost you roughly 65,000 USD to buy the 100 kilowatt hour battery pack car. But if you go for the battery as a service, the price of entry is only $42,000. That is a massive decrease in price. So instead of paying this really expensive price of almost half a million RMB, you could just pay like around a quarter million RMB, $65,000 or $42,000. I think most people would pick the $42,000 vehicle. I get it, there is a subscription that goes with it. It's pretty expensive and it's not really cheap, but if you do the calculations, most people like to change their cars every three to four years, especially people that could afford Neo vehicles. So it's actually really worth it to them. They buy the vehicle, they pay like the battery subscription service, and that's about it. And you get a lot of other perks that go with it. And if they don't want the vehicle, they can simply move on to a different car. But what's really unique about the battery swapping stations is you need to have the battery subscription program to essentially use it. You do have a battery swapping technology in your disposal for free. And their battery swapping stations are really unique because right now they're launching the second generation battery swapping stations, which are a lot quicker and they're more convenient and they're also really precise. And guess what? Since you have a car with a battery subscription service, you could use these swapping stations to your disposal. And also, let's say you have the 70 kilowatt hour battery for a very long time and you're tired of the low range. You could opt in and upgrade to the brand new 100 kilowatt hour battery for a higher price. And recently, NEO just announced their massive 150 kilowatt hour battery that can make cars go up to roughly 570 miles per charge. If you put this battery into the NEO ET7, this vehicle could go up to 1,000 kilometers on a single charge. And I'm guessing that the 150 kilowatt hour battery will be part 
of the battery subscription program and it's not going to be cheap the 70 kilowatt hour battery is roughly 120 130 dollars usd the 100 kilowatt hour battery is roughly 230 dollars usd and the 150 kilowatt hour battery will most likely be $300 USD, possibly very, very expensive. But I'm pretty sure people will definitely opt in and go for it. And by the way, there's a lot of perks with this subscription program. You get battery swapping technology, instead of being the guys that take forever to charge, like 40 to 45 minutes, it takes you three minutes to swap out for a brand new battery. Okay, and let's say if you want to have a cheaper entry into the Neo world, well, you don't have to pay 65 grand for this, you could just simply pay 42 grand. And Neo is adding in even more subscriptions, including their autopilot system. You can opt in for their brand new NAD, Neo Autonomous Driving System, for $105 per month, which is a pretty good deal. That's like roughly $1,200 per year. And Tesla's autopilot system right now is like $10,000. So you do have to use this autopilot system for like eight years to be worth the same as Tesla. Tesla, you have an upfront fee of 10 Gs. Neo, well, you only have to pay $100 every single month. So it takes like eight years before you get the same value as Tesla. Now keep in mind that this battery service, you can switch it on and off. Maybe these couple months, you want the battery subscription service to be on because you're, you're comp because you're constantly going to other cities, you're driving around, and you're going to different meetings in very far locations. And let's say maybe the next year you're not traveling, so you don't really need the service. You could just simply switch it off and you save money. So this subscription program is pretty unique. And last but not least, the battery swapping station in their second gen station is incredible. This is a really phenomenal system that a lot of people just simply don't talk about. And Bank of America really likes the battery swapping station. And the reason why Bank of America got so bullish on NEO is because of their battery swapping station. Their footprint is pretty small. They could be put into several small garages or parking lots. They lock in the vehicle, they take the batteries out, and they put a brand new one. Let's say you wanna get a brand new battery. Sure, it takes you three minutes, and it's pretty awesome. On top of that, you do have a really phenomenal service with NEO. They got the repair teams already. You could call them on your smartphone. It's super easy. I think NEO is making a pretty amazing transition from just a regular car company to a subscription company. You know how Netflix makes a ton of money from subscriptions? Same thing on Apple, Google, Spotify, Samsung. Well, NEO is doing the same thing. I've never seen a subscription service in a car company before, and we're seeing it now. And there's also a company called Canoe, which their whole entire company is revolved around subscriptions. You can subscribe to one of their cars and just pay a certain amount every single month. And it's pretty awesome. So let's just see what happens to Neo. I would love to see them increase more subscription service, better batteries, maybe like cool new wheels, maybe like better autopilot, something like that. Because their subscription service will be the main money maker. After you buy the vehicle, well, you will be paying a lot of money to Neo every single month because you're like, oh, I want this battery. Oh, I want this autopilot. And Neo is raking in the dough. I think their revenue is definitely going to be increasing and you can't really evaluate Neo no longer as just a car manufacturer. They have a lot of really cool software potential and also try to evaluate it as a subscription service company as well because that's what they're doing. Thanks for watching guys and comment below.